Your live Doppler 18 forecast with meteorologist Chad Evans. Weather from where you live. Live Doppler 18 is now clear tonight after a few scattered thunderstorms this evening with hit or miss rainfall amounts of anywhere between zero and a trace to as much as an inch and a half in Newton and Jasper counties. But it has been a long time since we have had a widespread good soaking rain in the WLFI viewing area. So at 12 inches in the topsoil and the yellow and tan shadings, we've got moisture that's below normal. So bottom line is in this shading at 12 inches deep, We've got below normal soil moisture. They're really starting to dry out. And then down in our southern counties, normal soil moisture for this time of year. But what's interesting is that if you go down 72 inches down into the soil, our soil moisture is largely above normal. This is moisture that's being stored up deep in the soil from that very wet winter and very wet spring we had. The problem is the grass and the corn can't tap into this moisture because the root systems are so shallow because of the wet spring. The roots haven't had to grow very deep because of the wet spring. So that's why we're starting to see some moisture stress on the lawns and, and some of the corn crop due to this factor. Now, I don't see any real good widespread soaking rain on the way, but a little more rain on the way by Saturday morning. Low pressures lifting to the northeast. All the scattered thunderstorms are fizzling. And for the rest of the night, mostly clear skies, but patches of fog developing, especially if you did get rain today. And when you get up tomorrow morning, some fog around. That fog's going to burn off mid to late morning. A few cumulus clouds bubble up in the heating of tomorrow afternoon, but the rain will stay away. Severe weather threat will get going to our northwest. Those storms will form a line and begin to head our way, but weaken and just pass through as a line of weakening showers and thunder showers early on Saturday morning before Saturday afternoon clears out. So as the line moves in, it will weaken, and we're just looking at about a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain from this system on Saturday morning. So forecast for tonight, mostly clear. Patchy fog developing, especially if you did get rain today with lows around 60. Finally, a typically warm July day tomorrow, partly cloudy, highs in the mid to upper 80s. Again, some scattered showers and a few thunderstorms, mainly on Saturday morning. Tenth to a quarter of an inch of rainfall will be common. A couple more thunder showers Sunday afternoon. And then more widespread rainfall possible, more soaking rainfall Tuesday into Wednesday.